All right, everyone, 13 weather meteorologist Sean Ash here with an update on Milton. Keep in mind when you're watching this, what time it is. The bottom line, uh, massive, massive uh, intensification today. Uh, latest numbers, wind now up to 180 miles per hour. There's only been two hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico, Allen in 1980, Rita 2005 with a wind speed that strong. Pressure is down to 905 millibars, and that means it's just, it's on the top shelf of the most intense hurricanes, not only in the Gulf, but in the Atlantic. Uh, there's only been five with a pressure that low. Wilma, Gilbert, Rita, Allen, Katrina. Uh, Mitch and Dean both had uh, the equivalent of this. This all happened in roughly less than 24 hours. The majority of this happened today. Uh, and it's not a surprise. We'll show you um, why the intensification happened today. One thing I want you to take is that, no, it will not be a Category 5 hurricane when it hits Florida. It is still going to be a major hurricane that is going to cause major, major problems on the west coast uh, of Florida here. So, again, just to recap on that Saffir Simpson scale, um, 157 plus wind puts you in Cat 5 status. So you can see that this is not only, again, you get to a category five, that is catastrophic damage. Helene was a four when it made landfall. You've seen the scenes um, from, uh, from Helene. I wanna point this out, devastating damage from a category three hurricane. There will be quote weakening on approach to the coast, um, but at minimum a major hurricane, if not stronger. So we're going back here because it's remarkable meteorologically to watch this unfold. Um, watch as we go from a category one to the, this intense eye um, and this rapid strengthening today. Again, watch this, you'll see that eye. I mean, this is a textbook satellite example of you know, the most extreme hurricane that you could have uh, in the Atlantic Basin or anywhere else on the globe for that matter. Now it is moving due east. So that means it is going to parallel the northern coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. A um, lot, uh, lot of Hoosiers uh, vacation down here, Cosmel, Cancun. That type of wind is gonna be offshore for Cancun. That means it minimizes wind surge but there's probably still gonna be some nasty wind and nasty bands that are gonna get encountered here. Uh, we'll have to watch for the potential surge for Cosmel because of the, the wind flow. Um, but this thing is going to, the core of the wind, the roughest wind will stay offshore of the Yucatan Peninsula. So the strongest wind in the Gulf this late in the season, 180 plus, strongest hurricane in the Gulf since Rita in 05, and now one of only seven hurricanes to go from Cat 1 to Cat 5, 24 hours or less as we break down uh, these stats. Um, what's going on at this hour, roughly 675 miles or so from Tampa. This is the latest Hurricane Hunter aircraft that took off from Tampa. They're coming out of Tampa and they're coming out of Mobile. And this red line shows you the path. And along this path, the men and women on the aircraft are, are sampling the atmosphere with drop zones. And then they get into Milton and they sample Milton. All of that data then gets fed back instantaneously into these massive computer models that then compute the data and helps the Hurricane Center come up with the, the track and intensity. Now, what we're showing you here is basically it takes into account sea surface temperature, wind shear, atmospheric moisture. What are the most, when you get into the red, that's highly favorable tropical development. And then when you get into the green, the air might be drier, the sea surface could be cooler, there could be more wind shear. So where Milton is doing this whole explosion is occurring in an area that's highly favorable for it. Um, this is the latest 
track so you can see again the wind the the core of the wind paralleling that the Yucatan and then what eventually will happen it does encounter a front it does ingest some drier air but there's going to be a lot of nervous moments when this thing comes in uh, for multiple reasons let's talk about Tampa Bay if it goes north of the bay then that is going to shove the surge up into the bay that's always been the biggest fear with that city if it goes a little more north the roughest surge could stay just south right now it is a very close call to it going right through the bay or just north of the bay that's one issue but that's just one city all of this all of this is going to be onshore wind and that's why there's extreme concern you got multiple impacts with this we have we have the surge flooding we will have flash flooding from the heavy rain. We will have wind impacts. Category three is gonna do massive uh, impacts with wind. Um, and then we'll also have the tornado impacts. It will remain a hurricane as it crosses through the peninsula. So that's why the hurricane warning uh, includes Orlando. And then eventually this thing gets out and gets shoved out to sea. It will not impact Indiana, and, um, and that will be the path for it. All right, so let me, let me show you again. Let's uh, talk about this. My clicker's giving me some fits here. Okay, just another, just another example of the track here without the other stuff. Um, so this is Wednesday morning, still at 160 miles per hour. And then the, the hurricane center, one thing I did note in the, the update is that it is slower. Arrival time, Thursday morning, still expecting tropical storm force wind to be on shore Wednesday morning. Okay, um, if you haven't heard, and in our, fork, in our blog, in our Milton uh, weather blog, Tampa uh, International Airport will stop operations Tuesday morning Orlando International is stopping operation Wednesday morning. And they're gonna, they're gonna stop operation until uh, they determine it's safe uh, for those two locations. Here are the hurricane warnings. Uh, Fort Myers, Tampa, Orlando. Daytona is in a hurricane watch. And we've got tropical storm warnings farther north and um, tropical storm warnings here for that southwestern portion of the coast here. Um, here is the latest peak, this is peak storm surge forecast. 8 to 12 or more uh, Tampa Bay and I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll move along the coast but Fort Myers up to up to a foot. Um, so here you go, here's Bonita Springs, here's Fort Myers, Sanibel, okay this will be the big concern, this surge flooding. There's Sanibel, uh, Cape Coral. Now we're moving up the coast. Here's Venice. Yeah, okay. So that purple is, the, that this will be the peak surge in areas, could exceed a foot. So I suspect we're gonna start to see large portions and you probably have heard the, the possibility of very large evacuations. And I think that's what's going to be playing out here. Here's Sarasota. There's uh, Bradenton, and we'll go a little farther to the north, and uh, here you have it. So here's Tampa, the city. There's the bay, Largo, Cle Clearwater, Palm Har Harbor. There's St. Petersburg, okay? Um, and this will get a little more fine-tuned over the next 24 hours. And even some surge potential on the East Coast as well. Because as it's crossing the peninsula, the wind, depending on location, will be coming on shore. So there's going to be some surge, uh, not as high as the west coast. For some, this may end up being some of the worst surge that they've seen. Okay, so this is just a model projection. And there you go. I'm showing you this broader version to kind of the, what controls our weather will eventually just keep Milton from going much farther to the north. 
So let's just hope, let's hope this thing can just weaken a lot. Unfortunately, it, it, it just doesn't look great. We will continue to update. Um, we'll get another update here this evening. Chuck and Lindsay will have you covered in the morning. And uh, I know a lot of folks, you know, on fall, you know, have fall break plans. If you're already down there, you should consider where you are going to move to if you need to. You need to follow the forecast down there very closely uh, as updates continue to funnel in. If you have travel plans down there, know that those could be uh, impacted by a, a, a big, big deal here over the next uh, couple of days. We will keep you updated. Thanks for choosing us for your weather information.